Hello everyone, Gabe here from the Uplay team here at Massive, and today we were lucky enough to be joined by some of the awesome people from the Folding at Home team to talk about some of the great work that they're doing with disease research and how you can put your PC to work for a great cause. But without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, so my name is Anton Tinell and I'm the head of communication and partnership for Folding at Home. So Folding at Home is a distributed computing disease research project that involves 11 universities worldwide. Uh, we were funded by Vijay Pandey at the year, the early months of 2000. And uh, that was at Stanford and now we're at 11 universities. Yeah, so um, our volunteers are donating computing power. And the way this works is a bit like the cloud. So we have really big simulations that we use to better understand protein folding within cancer research, Parkinson's, Huntington's. And um, our community of volunteers is helping us with this. So we're distributing parts of a really big simulation to individual computers that are solving one part of the problem and then send it back. And then we build the cake and then we build the simulation and we get the answer to the questions. Exactly, so what is folding at home and what is disease research? So in the old days, disease research was trial and error um, but it's now digitalized. We go really, really down to scale and look how the proteins fold during certain amount of time in certain conditions. But why and how come? So this is how you do disease research nowadays. And what does that mean for me? We need a lot of computing power because the way of our simulations are structured you have so many variables in um, zooming into the molecular level uh, of protein folding. So we need so much computing power. And when we're doing it on our own, it will take a hundred years for one computer to do it. But if we have 10 computers, a hundred computers, or a thousand computers, so we distribute out the project to get the answers faster. And that is how people are helping out folding at home. You can look at the simulation like one big cake. And we're slicing it out in smaller, smaller pieces and sending them out. Uh, so the cake is a problem. It's getting solved in your computer. And then you send it back and then we assemble the cake again. And that is where we get our answers. In the early days of 2013, I heard about folding at home. And uh, it really touched me uh, because my grandmother passed away in Alzheimer's. I downloaded a client and I started to help out. But I wanted to do more and I didn't know what to do. Um, one Friday night, I had dinner with a friend who is a PhD student in structural biology. And I told him, I've heard about folding at home. Do you know what it is? And he said, that's really cool. They're top of the line, really good researchers that are using your computing power for disease research and pushing the limits to find a cure. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. But why don't they have a mobile app? So the same evening after dinner, I actually called uh, the funding professor, BJ Panda, but he didn't pick up. So I sent a short email, um, three lines, just outlining who I was and what I wanted to do. And I got a reply within five minutes. And um, since then, I got into folding at home and helped build a mobile client together with Sony Mobile. Our main goal is to further the research. We've already published 400 articles and we're getting closer and closer to cure. We don't know when we will have a cure, but we know that together we'll get it there faster.
It's super important to us that everybody feels secure about folding at home. So we have a really high and great encryption system. So it starts out that you download the app from our website, install it and launch it. Initially, your app will ask for a case and we will look at the specs of your computer and see how much juice you have and then we'll assign a case for you. You will download this case and when you choose, uh, this case starts crunching on your computer. So obviously when, not when you're gaming, but when you're sleeping or when you're at work. And when you get back home, you can see the progress. You can stop if you're gonna game or you can continue. And the client will solve the equation on your computer and then send back the results. And then you're ready for the next case. So we're using both uh, your CPU and your GPU, and you can decide how many threads and cores you want to focus on folding at home. Uh, we collaborate really close with NVIDIA and AMD to make our client as effective as possible. And uh, we really like GPUs. They're really good for medicine research. So we have a website uh, where you can download the client and we have clients for Linux distributions, Windows and iOS. Folding at home.org, join us. I'm Pedro, I'm the founder of a community known as PCMR on Reddit and elsewhere. We're, we're a community of PC enthusiasts, PC gamers and lovers of everything technology. Well, a few years ago when our community started growing, uh, we decided that we should try to focus on different different events, different kinds of, of, of engagement with, with, with things outside the technological community, uh, with charity work. We, we found about the folding community is, is, is an old community, uh, but we, we decided to, to, to support it more and more through our folding at home team. That's where we started. We, we, we began creating a, a rather large folding at home team. Right now we're top 25 in the world, I think. And um, it just came naturally. I think PC, PC enthusiasts and technology lovers in general love the idea of being able to use something that they have at home, the computing power to, to help create good in the world, because that's what we're talking about. And it just moved naturally. If you just go on our subreddit, which is our main home, uh, usually uh, the first post that, that you'll see is the, the folding at home post that we've had sticked for, I'd say over two years now. And there you can find pretty much everything you need to, to help out, to know more about the project. It has a lot of helpful links. You can join our team or other teams. We have, there are a lot of, of, of community teams like Linus Tech Tips, like Barnacles, who are also in the top 25. Barnacles is actually just slightly above us, but we'll beat him soon, I think. And eventually Linus as well. It won't be hard. But yeah, if you wanted to join up, that's where you should go. And that's, I think, uh, in the future, we'll have a lot of other uh, tech uh, communities of users and maybe companies as well joining. I think it will be really nice. Thank you for watching everyone and as mentioned if you want to learn more about the folding at home team and what they're doing and how you can get involved you'll find more linked in the description below but until next time bye